Good afternoon. This is Elizabeth Valencia Borger from St. Cloud State University in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Welcome, and I'm glad. Good afternoon. This is Elizabeth Valencia Borger from St. Cloud State University in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Well, technical issues, but I fixed it. Um, as I was saying, my name is Elizabeth Valencia Borgert from St. Cloud State University, and uh, we are going to have a presentation about Education USA Academy. We are one of the 14 host campuses in the United States that have the honor to welcome students from all over the world. Um, I would like at this point to uh, switch to my presentation and that I'll be able to go through the slides and explain who we are and what we're about and certain details of the, our academy. Uh, after that, I would like to, to ask if you could please wait for all the questions at the end. I do have a chat open, so feel free also to send me the questions, but all the questions will be answered at the end of the presentation. It has worked very well if we do it that way. Um, I will move now to the presentation. Um, trying to get in here. You have, I hope you can see our first slide. Um, we are in the state of Minnesota, which is located six hours from Canada. St. Cloud State is located six hours from Canada, very close to the border of uh, uh, with our with our neighbor. We are also, I should add, located next to the Mississippi River. The what you are seeing right now is the is our campus behind the greenery and the Mississippi River goes by our campus. I would like to give you some highlights of what St. Cloud of St. Cloud State is. We are the second largest university, is a public university, state university in the in the state of Minnesota. Uh, as I you could see in the picture, we are along the banks of the Mississippi River. And uh, we are located in central Minnesota. We have a population of approximately 100,000 people. The, the city of St. Cloud, St. Cloud State is not, that, uh, is not that big yet. Some information about St. Cloud State University. We have 15,000 students at this point, And uh, we offer over 200 undergraduate majors. And, and also 60 graduate programs. Um, and I should add that we are one of the state universities that is, is offering a doctorate program in education and leadership. This is something that the, the state of Minnesota granted us the ability to, be, to, to offer a program at that level. Um, we have over, 1,400 international students from more than 90 countries. So we have a, a, a large population, a lot of diversity from all over the world. Our mission and vision, which is very important because it sets the framework of, of the way we, we work internationally and domestically. Uh, our mission is to prepare our students for life and be able to succeed in the 21st century. And our vision follows through uh, by offering the student the ability to, to realize their, their potential through different interactions. And uh, we always have a theory and also the practical aspect of each uh, major or career. And uh, we are, our mission, as, uh, another way to look at it is we prepare professionals in different areas. Teaching first. Our school started as a teaching school 150 years ago, and we evolved now into a 
for four year uh, higher education institution. Yet we still have the traces of our beginner beginnings, which is uh, we our classes are small. Professors pay a lot of uh, personal attention to the intellectual development of each of our students. We do we offer opportunities for personal growth, and uh, as I said before, we offer an applied career instruction and theory behind the application. So we provide the student with the skills to excel in his or her profession. We also offer, like any other school in the United States, summer programs. This is just a sample of what we do as an institution. Uh, we offer programs, short-term programs. It could be 10 days. It could be uh, one month. Most of our short-term programs in the summer are in the four, four weeks to five weeks uh, length. Um, we offer career exploration we in the health science, especially in the medical uh, services and, uh, and technology. Um, once again, there are a couple of pictures. The, what you see here in the advanced program in technology and science, that is a program that is going to be offered in this July. So it's just an example of what we do. These are for students who are in grade ninth to 11th. Uh, another program that we are offering this summer for the first time is the Education USA Academy. And I'm just going to give you a couple of slides of what Education USA Academy is. Uh, as I said before, we are part of the very selected group of universities. Um, in the United States that are offering the academy. So you have Boston University, Northwestern University, and uh, University of Wisconsin, Madison, and we are among them. Each one of them offer, has a different focus. We all share the same uh, attributes, but, uh, all, but at the same time, we offer different elements. And I'll explain a little bit and I'll, uh, and what, ours would look like. Well, this is our goal as an Education USA Academy. Our intent is to offer a pre-college enrichment experience to international high school students. So, And uh, those are the different activities. We'll have uh, college level writing workshops, campus visits, cultural activities. So those are elements, common elements that you're going to find in all Education USA academies. I would like to focus at this point on our academy, Education USA Academy at St. Cloud State University. Ours is a three week summer program. We're still taking applications if anybody's still interested. We want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to, to learn about us and perhaps be motivated to, to submit an application. And uh, as you can see, based on the pictures, ours, our academy is based on the science. Another element that I would like to share right from the beginning is the security of our campus. Minnesota is a very safe place. We're in the middle of the country, and central Minnesota is, is a very um, stable, very secure place for any student. We have so many students from so many countries, and uh, it, they always feel safe because we that is our first mission, is to make sure that the students are at ease, and that uh, we have escort services. We have place all over the campus what we call the blue lights. If a student feel in danger, he or she can push the button. They're all over, and we have our own security that will be on the spot within minutes. So I just want to make sure that uh, that we uh, that is clear, and we always like to emphasize that that point, that aspect from our university. And it's not just for the summer, it's for all our students year round. Uh, an overview of what who we are for the academy. The academy that we're offering centers in STEM, science, technology, and engineering and mathematics. 
uh, as I told you before, each academy has a different concentration focus. Ours is in the science. And uh, the students who will come to the academy will have the opportunity to work with faculty in the science and engineering college and will also be able to work with uh, counterparts, other high school students who are in the advanced preparation uh, program that I showed you earlier. So there, there's going to be a lot of exchange of knowledge um, between the students and with the faculty. And uh, there's going to be research. We anticipate the students to do some research. Yeah, so if you like the science, this probably be, be the one that you want to come to. If you're interested in uh, finding out in different elements, and now uh, we're going to be touching different aspects of science. Um, English classes will be available, and that's also because we are interested in making sure that you leave our academy with a well-written essay statement that you will eventually use in the applications for universities in the United States. That is one element that uh, all our students, potential uh, students coming to San Clara State will need to fill up. So we're gonna make sure that uh, you're not only enjoying the science aspect of our institution, of our program, but also be able to, to have a, a well-written composition that you can take home. That will be one of our del deliverables. So in, in a program overview, we have the STEM team research project that you are, will be expected to work with other students your age. It will be all based on your abilities, nothing to be afraid of. Uh, we are going to give you a college entry test preparation for the ACT. That is something uh, very important that uh, we do. Uh, college preparatory seminars, we're gonna take you to different universities. We have, uh, uh, secure tours for two private universities in the area and another sister institution in in the urban area in the state of uh, in the capital of the state in St. Paul. We will also be making some scientific and industrial sites visits that will fall all within what we are doing in the science. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to to interact and make friendships with other with American peers on campus, kids your age, the, the same age, and uh, you're gonna share life in the dorm. And uh, we're also gonna include cultural activities so you have a good sense of what Minnesota is about. Uh, we're looking at uh, giving you the opportunity to, to give back to the community. Uh, learning service projects in St. Cloud State University is most important. If you were to come as an undergrad to St. Cloud State, you would be an expected to do some sort of a learning service project before you graduate. So it's something that we emphasize as part of our mission of our fiber as a university. And obviously you will have your English classes. So in, in a nutshell, that's what the program would look like. Uh, this is just a sample of um, of the agenda, the schedule is uh, you're going to be busy from the moment you get up, which is going to be early, and then you'll probably be heading to bed around 1030. There will be activities. It's not all homework. There will be uh, a dance. We're going to have a social event. And uh, so it's going to be three weeks of engagement at all levels, socially, academically, intellectual. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be uh, intense from that aspect. Um, our program fees um, is $3,895 for three weeks, uh, which is uh, affordable. We are a university, we're a state university whose, um, whose mission also is to make education to everybody affordable without affecting quality. So we're very mindful that uh, uh, not everybody can afford it, but we're gonna make sure that uh, the fees cover everything that needs to be covered. So in the fees, we have the program fee, the study material, the field trips, 
We do provide the health insurance, housing, meals and healthy snacks, all transportation. We will go and pick you up from the airport and we will take you back to the airport. What we do not include is the airfare and personal expenses. But I believe all the academies are following this format. Uh, once again, I just wanted to share some pictures of what our students, we have a group of Mexican students who were in the same program with uh, Chinese students. So it's uh, the ability to interact with other international students so you don't remain in your group. And uh, in those two pictures, they were visiting 3M and uh, they were in the Science Museum of Minnesota. So once again, there are certain things that uh, you will have to cover on your own, but those are the living, the personal expenses. Uh, what do we need from you? Well, you need to be e between 15 and 17 years old, reside outside of the United States and be a non-US citizen. We, uh, this is not for native speakers, this is for non native English speakers. But if you speak English, we would like you to be at a intermediate mid level English language skill, uh, which it will be under ACFL. I guess the European framework will be a, a minimum of a C1 for, for you to, to really engage in what we're doing uh, during those three weeks. We would like also to receive a, a recommendation letter from your English teacher and your science teacher. And you need to fill up an application. After you apply, well, this is what's gonna happen. You will notify of acceptance once we have received all your information. And you do that online, you, the application is online. And then once you receive your acceptance letters, then we're gonna start phase two of the process. We will send you information, and then we will engage the, your parents because we're gonna need all kind of paperwork that needs to get done. And then uh, here is the application link, but uh, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna show it to you. Um, but you can find us I'll, at the end of the presentation, you will see our, our link, and you can also find us on their Education USA Academy. These are our faculty. Dr. John Cinco, he's an assistant professor of physics. He is overseeing the, the STEM portion of Education USA Academy this year. He has worked, he actually received an award not too long ago for one of the best professors one of the best educators in the, in the area of STEM. So we're very proud of his achievements and uh, we just bring the best to our academy. Along with him, we have our English language instructor, Robin Sander. She has worked with a high school students from all over the world, traveled to China. She has been in many places in different parts of the world and has lived there too. So she understands what it means to learn a second language as she understands what it means to be in a new place. Uh, we, I should say, I should add actually, we have another faculty who is going to be supporting the STEM aspect of our academy, Dr. Oga Gasal. He is from Nigeria and he's also uh, supporting uh, part of the seminars in the area of STEM. And uh, that is me with all the information. Um, we are Education USA Academy at San Cloud State edu. You can connect with me. As you can see, I have WhatsApp, I have Skype, I have WeChat, and recently I included Telegram because I know not everybody uses WhatsApp. And uh, so, I will continue to share the rest of the information. This is our contact number. We are also in Twitter. So please connect with us, check us out. Uh, and maybe this is the academy for you. We will be more than glad to welcome all students from all over the world. 
And in terms of cultural activities, we're going to be taking you to different places, uh, urban and rural, so you have a good understanding, a good feeling of what being in Minnesota means. Uh, with that, I would like to open the the option for WeChat, if, uh, I'm sorry, for the chat area, and see if anybody has any questions um, in regard to any of the information that I was, I presented. So I will go in silence for one or two minutes. Any questions at all about anything I said? This is, as I said, it's going to be a great experience. We already have students from all over. Uh, we have students from Russia, Europe, uh, South America, Asia, and Southeast Asia. If you don't have any questions at this point, uh, I have my email. So feel free to send me an email at any point. As I said, we are um, receiving applications yet, and we are in the web under Education USA Academies. Um, Okay, if there are no questions, then I would like to wrap this up. I would like to thank you for attending this brief presentation on uh, Education USA Academy that will take place in St. Cloud State University this summer from July the 7th to July the 27th, 2019. We'll be more than glad to receive any inquiries or phone calls, as I said, I am connected and I will be more than glad to talk to anybody about any aspect of the academy. With that, I would like to say goodbye and uh, wish you a very peaceful weekend. I will be disconnecting in a couple of minutes unless anybody has a question, but I do not see any questions in the screen. Um, please connect with us. We we'll love to see people from all over the world, include even more people. We already have a few. Have a good evening. <laughs>